All right, let's talk about less common keys and less common choices that you may have thought about. Should I buy this key? Should I leave it alone? Do I really need it? Well, let's jump on it and talk about it. The first one is the key of B. Uh, the B harmonica for second position puts you in F sharp. That key just doesn't come up too often. Neither does C sharp or C sharp minor, which would put you in third position, and neither does B, which would put you in first position. Those keys are slightly less common than the other keys. That said, if you're doing studio work or pickup work, you never know when somebody's gonna call F sharp or C sharp, C sharp minor, B, and you want first position. I say it's a good one to own if you're actively doing studio work and all this, but otherwise, it, wait for it if you have no use for it. It's definitely a less common key to pick up. Let's jump over to D flat. I own it because I play in, I sing in A flat. It's a good key for me to sing in. And I do know people that play in A flat, so I like having that cross harp key. And I like it as a, in a special 20 specifically for the no side vents, keeps it a little more mellow. So again, less common, wait for it if you're Wondering what you should acquire, let me just get that out of the way. Get your standard keys like G, A, uh, B flat, C, D, and F. Get those first. I, that would serve you well. And then think about filling in the gaps with keys, other keys like A flat and a low F, which are not on my list of keys that I wouldn't, that are super uncommon, and I'll explain why in a minute. So we started with B, then we went to D flat. These are again keys that I think are not as commonly used, and you may want to wait before purchasing them until you have the need. Here's one, the key of E. This harmonica would put you in B major for cross harp, and you could play it in, um, of course, you could jump to, uh, what would that be, uh, F sharp minor, Yes, F sharp minor would put you in third position on this. That key, that's not going to come up very often, almost never. But I play and sing in the key of B, so I own it. And again, sometimes it, the key does come up. It's just not as common. F sharp, whether it's a standard tuning or in this case a low F sharp, C sharp, that puts you in C sharp for second position. But you might want to own it if... Just to play devil's advocate, you might want to own it if you're doing a lot of solo, unaccompanied playing. Because it's the highest of the low keys and it has a really sweet sound. And this is a rocket low. Now, runner-ups, keys that I would own that are also not quite as common. A flat. You may not be playing in E flat all that often, but you might be playing in B flat or B flat minor and want that third position. And those keys do come up. That's why it's not on the list. A low F everyone should own in my opinion because it's just such a stark contrast to that high F that can get a little screechy. Low F, I use it constantly more often than an F, I would say. So again, let's just back, let me give you a big picture if you're just getting into it and starting to acquire keys, absolutely go out and own these keys in this order first, let's say, in this order. C, A, G, D, B flat, then F. And I, and I would say even a low F, maybe instead of the F, like a rocket low. Then worry about filling in those other keys that we've gone through today. Um, one other that's popping in my mind, they make really rare keys like a, super, a high A, that's not very common, it's so high. Um, it's just a bit much for me. And any of the really extreme low keys, like a double low F or maybe um, a low G, these are, these are keys that just don't come up as often. But if you're solo playing, or you're doing some really cool stuff like Eric Noden and Joe Felisco, those guys are using those low keys a lot. And they can work and come up. So there's a little talk on some less common keys. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys today. I will see you soon in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you soon.